Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT and in this tutorial we continue building our website for Robbie's Outdoor Services. We are going to uh, add in our rollover buttons. We've made the light and dark swapping images for these buttons in a previous tutorial in Adobe Fireworks. Fireworks is what we use to make them. We're now going to add them onto our template uh, along with this photo here and then that will form a big part of our website. So let's go across to Adobe Dreamweaver. What we need to do is open up the template we made previously. Now the easiest way is to go over the right hand side to the files and just double click on the template in its folder. If that's not open you would need to click the plus sign next to templates there and get it open. Then you can see it, double click on it and Dreamweaver will load it up. Alright, what we need to do is get into this area here where we're going to put the buttons. Now an important thing is we need to make an indent. Alright, so the buttons aren't all crammed up against the edge of the page but they're sort of in the middle. How we do that is down in the properties there's this right hand arrow text indent button and we just push that once. Okay, now that's going to make an indent every time we go down that column. So we need a space at the top, so we press enter, and our first button is going to go here. Now because it's a rollover button, we don't just insert an image. We have to go up to the top here to insert, and we want to insert an image object, and the one we want is rollover image. So it's insert image object, and then rollover image. Okay, so we'll click on that. We need a name for this image because this is going to be our first uh, button, the home page. We'll be calling that one home as its name. And now the original image. What the original image is, if we go to our buttons folder here and do thumbnails so we can see what's going on. The original one is the first one, the up image or the out image when the mouse isn't over it. So we want the light green one, not the dark green one, but the light green one and we say OK. Alright, the rollover image is we want it to roll over and go to that dark color so we need to find the dark colored home button, this one right here. So we'll click on that and say OK. Alright, alternate text uh, will be just home button and we're not putting in any URL links or anything like that yet. We'll do that later so we just say OK and that brings it in. Now if we click right alongside it here we can press uh, enter and now we're ready to do our next button which is the services button. So we go insert image objects and we're making a rollover image, a rollover button. Okay, so it's not insert a regular image, it's image objects rollover image. Alright, now this one is going to be services so we'll give it an image name of services and the original image, remember, is the light colored one. That's the one we want when the web page first loads up. And we need to find services, the light colored one. There it is, and we say OK. The rollover image is the dark services image. All right, and that one there, as with web standards, we've called that the services button. Um, down, whereas we probably should have really called it over, but actually we'll just use it as it is, the dark colored one, and then we need alternate text services button. And we click OK. Alright, we go to the edge of that and we press enter and we'll be ready to insert our other ones. Now we'll go off and insert those other buttons and then we'll be back to show you how to put that image down at the bottom and we will have finished our navigation bar. Alright, well we've finished off those other buttons but something we haven't done up the top here is put a title in. We should always put a title in so this is going to be Robbie's Outdoor Services and something else here is that you can not preview this. You cannot preview this in Internet Explorer, but the nice thing about Fireworks is you can. So if we preview in Firefox, sorry, not Fireworks, Firefox. If you preview in Firefox, you can actually see your template here and see that the rollover buttons are actually changing color. All right, so that's a nice little thing about Firefox, which uh, you can't do in Internet Explorer. In Internet Explorer, you have to wait till you've built a page using this template, like the home page, 
and then you could um, have a look at that. Now the last little thing we've got to do is put a picture in here. Now the picture we've got is big, it's about half the size of that green box and if you just insert image the whole layout will go crazy. So we need to have a like a little box or a container to put that picture in. Now in Dreamweaver these are called AP divs. This is something new. We go to insert and then we go to layout objects and we want to use an AP div. Um, don't know why it's called AP div but just think of it as a box or a container you can put things in. So we click AP div. Now the corner here is like a handle where you can grab a hold of that box and move it. So we're going to move it down there roughly to where we want our picture. And we're going to make it the size that we want the picture to be as well. So we're going to want the little picture of Robbie just down the bottom here just to fill in that, that space. Uh, we're just going to play around with that div, try and make it the same width as the buttons, and that's ready. Now we click inside that div and get a big flashing blue cursor. Now we go insert image and the image we want is of uh, Robbie proudly of his trailer, this one here. So we click on that and we say OK. Alright, alternate text we'll just call Robbie trailer. Trailer. OK, fix the spelling there, Robbie trailer. And no long description in the HTTP, we don't need that, and we say OK. Alright, now that picture has gone way too big in the div, but the nice thing is you can go down to the corner here and get the double arrows, and we can just kind of pull that back, um, hopefully not distorting it too much, pull it back until uh, we've got it the size we want. Now that AP div is like a box on the page that will make that thing stay there. I think I just somehow doubled up that div, but that will make it stay there in that shape and it's like a container where that lives. Now I just want to nudge that up a little bit, maybe I'll use the arrow keys. Um, still a little bit wide I think. There's a lot of fiddling around with these things but you know the human eye can detect very small changes and things need to look good. So let's preview that in Firefox because we can and have a look. So over into Firefox there we go. There's our template looking good. We've got um, these rollover buttons happening now. We've got our little picture there of Robbie with his trailer. And so we'll be ready in the next uh, tutorial to build the home page in this editable region. Okay, So we'll build this home page here, this very one, from the template which we've just made. Alright, be sure to check out our website for further tutorials at Passy's World of ICT.